The Tesla Model S exterior hasn't had a major redesign in over 8 years. The Model X hasn't had a redesign at all since its launch back in 2016. The batteries and motors have gotten some upgrades, but both vehicles have largely stayed the same at launch. The Tesla Platinum upgrade may bring the first major redesign of Tesla's flagship Model S and X. In today's video, I'll be talking about the changes to expect with this new upgrade, and I'll also go over my predictions for when to expect it to come out. Palladium is a type of platinum metal found in catalytic converters on gasoline vehicles. So is Tesla making a gas car? No. This is most likely just a knock at other gasoline and diesel vehicles. This Palladium project will upgrade the Model S and X dual motor configuration up to a tri-motor design, like the Cybertruck. Adding in an extra motor should give a nice performance boost to the already fast and quick Model S and X, and these new motors might also have better thermal management for track and racing use so that the motors don't get too hot after a few laps. The Palladium project will also upgrade the current battery pack to a new technology that will most likely be better than what currently stands. More information about that will probably come out at battery day. As for the new design, we still don't know what it's going to look like, but there are many renderings online that show what it could look like, and it is something that hasn't been updated in a while, and we'll for sure see some changes to the exterior and hopefully the interior design too. My guess as to when this will come out is on battery day. That's on September 15th, where Tesla will be showing off its latest battery tech at its Fremont factory in California, which is conveniently the same place where they assemble all their cars. If you have any thoughts or comments about this, please leave them in the comment section below. If you thought what you saw was interesting, give this video a like and consider subscribing to more tech content every week. I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.